Okay, what else do I use? Um, the base coat I like I'm using at the moment is uh, the Barry M base coat, top coat, and nail hardener. Uh, not much to say about it, it's fine, it does its job. I haven't had any staining on my nails for ages, and I've been using uh, polishes that often stain, like yellows, so it's good. Uh, it's not great, it's fine. Um, for a top coat, I use this Gosh High Shine top coat. Uh, and I'm not sure this might have been discontinued because when I got it, it was for like a quid in a super drug sale bin thing, so I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Um, where's my cuticle thing? Oh, I can't believe it. I've lost the thing. I oh no, here it is. Aha. Okay, this is the thing uh, that I really would recommend people get if you are into manicures. It's the Andrea Fullerton. I think that's how you say it. Cuticle groomer. Uh, now, before this, I was using the cuticle sticks you get, which are just kind of made of wood uh, and they've got they've usually got a kind of sh shovel ended bit for you to push them back and then a pointy end and I find those really annoying because basically as soon as I'd used it once they'd start fraying a little bit and it was really hard to use but this is um, I think it cost me about five quid and you get in super drug I'm not sure where else and it's made of metal uh, one end is this tiny curved little spoony end uh, and the other end is a flat kind of cushy shovey end and so how, how you use this is um, you can use this end to push your nails back and also kind of uh, it says to do small circles like this uh, to get rid of some of the dead uh, cuticle skin with the other end uh, it's a great thing for getting under your nails and getting out any dirt like so uh, I mean, like this. Sorry. Uh, it's really good for that. I don't know about you, but I just get all this crud under my nails when I've not been doing anything. Like, literally, I'll come from washing my hands and I'll go and sit down and maybe just be typing on the laptop and all this stuff just appears under my nails. Very irritating. Uh, so I like using this just to get that stuff out. Um, and also, you can use this end as well for pushing away the uh, the dead skin on your cuticles. I re just I really like this. The only problem is it's so tiny and thin. I'm always dropping it down the back of the sofa and stuff. But uh, anyway, yeah. If you need a cuticle groomer, I recommend this one. Uh, I think I said it was about a fiver, and um, Superdrug often have kind of three for two sort of things. Uh, also from the same range, I got the uh, Andrea Fullerton Cuticle Eraser Gel. Uh, Basically this stuff, you brush it on, you leave it a little while, and then you use your cuticle groomer or whatever to push back your cuticles and get rid of some of the dead bits. Um, now before this I had the NF... Oh, I never know how to say this brand... NFUO uh, cuticle remover, and I must say I prefer that one, not this one. Um, that one's a lot more liquid, this one, I don't know if you can see, but it applies like a kind of thick gel. No, you can't see. But anyway, it does. Uh, and while it, it does work fine, it just doesn't seem to work as well. I often need to apply sort of two coats to get rid of all of my dead uh, cuticle skin. Um, and also, something to do with it being thick and white makes it less satisfying. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of one of these gross people. I, I like doing uh, things like removing my cuticles because I like seeing all the dead skin come off. And the, uh, the NFUO cuticle remover was basically just a liquid you painted on and then it kind of disappeared, it absorbed or something and then so then when you were pushing it off you could just see all the skin come off. I know that's disgusting but I really like seeing it. Um, and this stuff just stays on your fingers, the gel. So you know I still get, I still do see my dead skin come off but uh, it's also you kind of end up pushing the cuticle gel around and it's just I just don't like it as much. Uh, it works It works well, but not as well as the NFUO one. But uh, I, that can be quite difficult to get your hands on. Um, and I think it's about the same price. This was a fiver again. Uh, and I think the NFUO one is about the same. So that's that. Anything else? Um, for cuticle uh, cream. I've been using uh, three different kinds, but I only have one here to show you. The two I don't have uh, on hand are... Um, there's a, an indie company I really like called Evil Shades. 
and they have uh, two kinds of cuticle balms basically one is called the bewitching cuticle balm and the other is the indulge cuticle cream and i got um samples of both and they both work really well to be honest i haven't been using any of these uh cuticle balms long enough to have a kind of uh long review like i haven't used them over a long period of time to see if they really make a, a proper difference to the um the quality of my cuticles i guess you could say uh, but instantly they they all soften them um, and make them easier to kind of push back if you want and just make them feel a bit better. I often get cracking cuticles and they do uh, they just make my cuticles feel better. Um, anyway, my favourite of those two is the indulge one, which kind of see this is rubbish because I don't have them on hand, but it's a kind of moussey texture. Um, and it absorbs really easily, it doesn't leave any grease, um, and it smells amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, it's meant to have a kind of cookie scent, I think, but to me it smells uh, exactly like um, a sweet you can get in England called Highland Toffee Bars. Oh, it smells so good, I could eat it, I swear. Uh, and I'm always kind of just sniffing my cuticles afterwards like a kind of fiend. <laughs> the bewitching one is nice too, it's, um, it's thicker, it's more like a kind of... Sol it's sort of solid when you get it out and then when you rub it in it absorbs um, nicely uh, and it smells good too, it smells of candy but I don't like that one quite as much um, okay and finally I have the Lush Lemon Flutter oh both of those, I got them on, I first of all, sorry, the Evil Shades ones the full tub, I think you get two ounces or so for six dollars which is really cheap and the samples i can't remember exactly they're about a dollar fifty each and you get quite a lot in the samples they're in uh, clamshells that are about this big um and i've used each one uh, probably about five times now at the very least and there's tons left they're not even half done so you can definitely get a good idea uh before you buy the full thing i'll leave um links to the uh, all the websites that i talk about in the bar, wherever it is now. Anyway, the last one, Lush Lemon, Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter, which uh, you've probably, I've seen tons of great reviews of this, but I just thought I'd leave one. I've been using this for probably a bit, a bit more than a month now, and I don't know if you can see, but it's, there's basically none gone, and this is because this amount here would be too much for one hand, so you can imagine how uh, long it would take. Uh, I like this stuff, um, I, it's, you kind of put it on and it's a bit like a balm and then it melts, I'll just do it quickly to show you, just shove a little bit on each of your cuticles like that, and then it sort of melts into an oil as you rub it on, massage it in, so if you can see now, where's, sorry, it's kind of gone sheeny. Um, I do find it slightly greasy, but it's not that big a deal, and it does make my cuticles lovely and soft. Um, and it smells. Some people hate the smell. Some people say uh, think it smells a bit like um, like a cleaning product because it is uh, lemon scented. But to me, it smells like uh, lemon grass or a bit like lemon sherbet. I really like the smell, uh, although it's very annoying because often I forget to put it on. And I'll. Um, go to eat something with my hand or something and get a mouthful of lemon which isn't that good. Uh, you can also you can put it on your uh, elbows or heels or things but I haven't tried that yet so I don't know. I've only used it on my cuticles and um, like I said it leaves them very nice but again I haven't been using them long enough to see uh, any long term effects. Um, I think this was about seven or eight quid for this amount which you know might sound like a lot but like I showed you this is going to last me forever uh, obviously if you use it on other places with a bigger expensive skin it'll take longer and uh, I'm going to leave now because someone is just coming up my drive to my door so <laughs> I hope that was helpful and uh, I've got to go bye bye